it is good to be in the great state of North Carolina. Thank you all. Now we... Calm down, please, calm down. You guys put something crazy in the water here in North Carolina. Well, I have a message. In 75 days, we are going to take this country back. We're going to elect Donald J. Trump, and it's going to start right here with the great people of North Carolina. Now, I don't know if you all saw, but today is the third day of the Democratic National Coronation. Excuse me, I said, I said coronation, I meant convention. Sorry, sorry for the confusion, but you know, conventions normally are about nominating people who actually win elections. And Kamala Harris hasn't won a single vote for the Democratic Party, and yet they're going to make her her nominee. Now, I watched it last night, and Democrats, they think they've cracked the code for how to appeal to normal Americans. Did you watch last night? Are, are they going to change their policy? No. But now they're distributing camo hats with Kamala Harris's name on them. That's their strategy for appealing to rural voters and veterans is a camo hat with Kamala Harris's name on it. Now, you know what I think would appeal to rural voters and veterans, Kamala? Not having a running mate who lies about his service record. Why don't we try that? You see, Tim Waltz says that he served in a war zone. And it turns out the closest he ever got to war is when he let rioters burn down the city of Minneapolis under his watch in the summer of 2020. Remember that? Now, now let's just reflect, now that we're in day three of the Democrat National Convention, how bizarre it is that they're doing some of the things that they're doing. Normally, conventions, they celebrate nominees who are elected by the people. And let's remind ourselves, how many votes has Kamala Harris won in the Democratic primary? Zero. Zero. That's exactly right. Ten million legal aliens, but zero votes. That is the record of Kamala Harris. Now, remember, the party bosses installed Kamala Harris because they can control her. That's all this is about. Her agenda is not an agenda for the American people. It's an agenda for the people who have gotten rich off the decline of this country, and we are not going to take it, are we? Now, remember, it was her donors, it was Kamala Harris's donors, who got rich when we shipped millions of manufacturing jobs off to China and other countries. Americans, we got poor. Her donors got rich when America printed trillions of dollars to fund her green scam policies, but Americans, we paid higher prices for groceries and housing because of it. And now her party wants more power, and the way they're going to do it is that she wants to give all those illegal aliens the right to vote. But out here in the state of North Carolina, we believe the only people who get to vote in our elections are the people who have a right to be here, not illegal aliens, Kamala Harris. And this November, starting right here in the great state of North Carolina, we're going to send a message to the corrupt leaders of this country. We do not need a president selected by power brokers. We need a president for the people, and that's why we're going to send Donald J. Trump back to the White House.